If you have heard of metaverse thousand times before and you still exactly don't know what that means, well then you've come across the right video. Now to make sense of what makes metaverse, there are a few terms we need to get familiar with first. Okay, first is virtual reality. I think most of us loosely understand what virtual reality or VR is. In simple terms, it is a three-dimensional real-life environment or a reality created by computer technology on a screen. We can interact with the created reality by using a physical object like a handset or um, as done in video games. Next is augmented reality. The word augmented simply means to increase or enhance something. And when you add a reality, you get enhanced reality which means you get to see some additional features like added effects, objects on your screen, along with the actual or real world that you're seeing anyway, like in this video. What you see on the screen is not completely true to what you're seeing here with your naked eye in front of you. Well, next is Web 1.0. Web 1.0 is the first generation of the internet, the World Wide Web. That is the website version of the internet, so to speak. Then comes Web 2.0, which is the second generation of the internet which is the much-loved social media application that's used by all of us all the time. And finally, Web 3.0. The Web 3.0 is the idea or the name being given to this concept of a new kind of internet that will be and is being built by using many advanced technologies, one of which will also be the blockchain technology. See, a lot of social media users feel that the problem with today's internet is that our personal data is being compromised and it's being used by big tech companies to make money. And that just leaves them with the unfair advantage of earning big chunks of revenue from our personal data. But in Web 3.0, it's believed that all this power of using our data the way we want will come back to us, the user. And we will have the choice to decide how we want to use our personal data. So coming back to the fact that some parts of Metaverse will be based on blockchain technology. What is this technology though? So for those of you who don't know, I'm going to try to explain it in as simple words as I can. Blockchain is just a complicated name for an open, public, online record book or a ledger. Now for the sake of this video and to make the idea simple for everyone to understand, I'm going to refer to blockchain as a notebook from now on. Now like in a real life ledger where we can write and record information on any of its pages, we can do the same in a blockchain. Now each page can only have so many data entries, right? And when that page is over, we move on to the next page and start filling it in. And then we move on to the next one and the next and so on. That page filled with data is actually what block in the blockchain technology is. And just as we switch to the next page once it's filled, similarly, information starts getting stored in the next block and the next and so on in that blockchain. And as each block keeps getting added to the next one, they end up forming a chain which is essentially what blockchain is. This is a very, very simple breakdown of the workings of a blockchain technology. It's of course much more sophisticated than this, but you get the idea. Now the big question, what is the purpose of blockchain technology in Metaverse? Blockchain technology is believed to be one of the safest technologies that lets us openly and publicly save digital information, which cannot be edited. Because once any data, any information, or any transaction is recorded in the blockchain ledger, it's just impossible to change it. Here's why. Now, for the sake of this explanation, I really need you guys to use a bit of imagination here and follow me. Now, imagine this room is the world, and imagine these desks here are nodes, and the record books that I've kept on each one of them represents a block on the same blockchain. Now, anything that I write in this ledger will also get copied to every other ledger on different nodes which are spread across the world. So, if someone had to change that information, then they would also have to change it in all the other copies made on every node on that network. Because all the nodes are constantly in touch with each other. And so, if something is changed or something is deleted, all these nodes will notify each other. And after cross-checking their database with each other, they will find the mistake and they will make sure that this does not happen. That's why this technology is already being used in so many industries to maintain a record of transactions like payments, etc., without having to involve a second person, uh, like a middleman, to check them, which is usually a bank or an agent. Our transaction history will be safely and permanently stored on its record, 
so that no one can deny its ownership. Now that we've got our basics clear, we can move on to the metaverse itself. So what is it exactly? Well, metaverse is the three-dimensional model of the internet that we see and use today. It will be a combination of augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed with some bits from our real lives, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. It's a place that's being built in the virtual world, parallel to our physical world, where we can spend most of our digital lives. Metaverse represents all the worlds and the network that will be created inside of it. It will be a place where all of us will have our very own fully functional 3D avatars, who will represent our real selves in that virtual world, just as our profile pictures represent us on our social media accounts. This is how we will be able to interact with each other in real time. While the builders of Metaverse want us users to feel as close to real world as possible inside of it. And so, they are building in it many services that will very much mimic the physical world around us. I mean, we will be able to walk in it, talk, shop and do activities and experience the world around us like we normally do. But it will be in the digital virtual world. We can also buy our own land and even build our own house on it. And those who see its potential are already buying and investing in it. We can also get used to the idea of having more virtual concerts and weddings in the metaverse, as artists and music companies are already selling out on their virtual concerts. Metaverse can also completely change the way we shop, just like online apps did in the last decade. If you're not a fan of online shopping or you don't like the fact that you can't feel your clothes before you can purchase them online, no problem. Metaverse, again, has got us covered. You can just step into a virtual store and shop like you would normally do in a physical store. Being able to feel the outfit and gauge its quality, and by having the ability to move and touch the fabric through our hand movements, we can also get to try on and see how an outfit looks on us. Now you may ask, how is this different than being present socially on the internet? Well, the main difference is obvious. That Metaverse will be a three-dimensional platform versus the two-dimensional nature of the present form of our internet. If you're into gaming or if you have ever used Oculus or virtual headsets before, then I'm sure you know what it feels like to be in a virtual world and how deceptively real it can feel. Secondly, if you are in the metaverse, then you will be always online or visible. Unlike on social media, where you can pretend to be offline or invisible based on your profile status. Unfortunately or fortunately, you can't be invisible in metaverse. Well, at least not yet, unless someone creates an invisibility cloak as a feature. Now that will be really cool. Can we buy or sell anything in Metaverse? Yes, we can. And here's how. Cryptocurrency is a type of digital currency based on blockchain technology and which only exists digitally and not in any physical form like cash or coins. Well, at least not yet. And just like we need money in the real world to buy things and assets, we will also need money in the Metaverse for the same. But instead of using real life wallets, we will be relying on digital ones like crypto wallets to store our digital money. And with that digital money, purchases from music, games, apps to property, digital arts, and even clothes will be made possible in the metaverse. So another question that arises is, who owns the metaverse? Well, the simple answer is no one, and yet everyone. It's like asking who owns the internet? Well, just as no one really owns the internet, no one person or company really owns the metaverse, but there are companies and individuals who have tremendous influence over its functions and they will contribute more to its maintenance and creation than anyone else will. So the real question is, who will control Metaverse? Well, Metaverse is believed to be built in such a way that it remains decentralized. That means all the power will not lie with just one single institution or an entity. Instead, it will be distributed to many smaller entities so no one person or organization has a total control over it. So in theory, all the talent, companies, artists, users, and designers who are developing it and are investing in it would be the ones who will really have a major say in its operations. But in practice, that would mean all the companies and individuals who have the right tools and the money to build it and are actually able to employ the talent that will make Metaverse into a reality are the real ones who will shape the future of the metaverse. Okay, so next, how many metaverse are there? So far, only one. Although, there will be many separate worlds within the metaverse, like how we have different nations and countries in real life. I covered the most basic stuff, this technical stuff about the world of metaverse, 
we discussed everything from artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, virtual reality, to all that you can find inside this new virtual world of Metaverse. Now, if you haven't seen the first part of this video, please do make sure that at the end of this video, you go to that link which I've provided and make sure you check out the first video so you can fully understand this new digital world from A to Z.